Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is another one brand makeup tutorial using only K Beauty makeup products. A few of you had requested a one brand makeup tutorial using K Beauty products. So here it is. And I must say that I loved the outcome. I wanted to use this green shade on my eyes for so long. So this is the look that I came up with. It's a green and blue smoky eye look using K Beauty makeup products. It's sort of like a contemporary glam Indian makeup look. So if you want to know how I created this beautiful glam makeup look using only K Beauty makeup products, then please do continue watching. First thing first, I cleanse my skin using the Derma Vibe Hydra Cleanser. This is one of my favorites. I love this cleanser to clean my face and to get rid of all the dirt and impurity. Then I followed it up using the Nutriderm Vitamin E Moisturizing Lotion which is also my fave. I love to use this underneath my makeup because my makeup sits so beautifully and it just hydrates my skin really well. So I'm just massaging the product all over my face and neck. Now I'm going to move on to the makeup. So I'm using the K-Beauty Eyebrow Pencil in the shade Hazelnut. This is a very good product from K-Beauty, I must say. It is very, very well pigmented, so you just have to use a light hand. And it's got a beautiful waxy texture, the right kind of texture for an eyebrow pencil. So yeah, I'm just using that to fill in my brows. But the sad thing is it doesn't come with a spoolie so you have to use a spoolie brush to comb through your eyebrows so that's what I'm doing here. They don't have a concealer so I use my LA Girl Pro concealer to prime and prep my eyelids before I apply um, any eyeshadow and also to clean up under the bottom area of my eyebrows like I usually do. And just using my beauty blender to blend out the concealer. For eyeshadow, I'm using the K-Beauty eyeshadow palette in the shade Bare Soul, which is this very beautiful neutral and nude toned eyeshadow palette. I'm picking up a matte warm brown shade called Tan on a blending brush and just apply that on the crease as a transition and making sure that the eyeshadow is well blended. Um, this particular palette is very well pigmented and the eyeshadows are super smooth and easy to work with. They do have a little bit of kickback but I really don't mind that because they have very good pigmentation. Then I'm picking up a deeper shade of matte brown on a tapered blending brush and trying to deepen up the crease area. This is more of a chocolatey brown shade. And again, I'm going to use the same blending brush that I used earlier to blend off the edges of the deep brown. Now I'm going to use a few eyeshadow sticks from them. So first I'm going to pick up this beautiful emerald green shade. Um, I don't know the name of this, I'll put it in the description box. But the color is so, so stunning on Indian skin tone. So I'm just applying the... Uh, stick eyeshadow to one third of my eyelids towards the inner corners of my eyes. I'm going to create a nice smoky eye look today. Once I laid out the um, eyeshadow stick, I'm going to use a pencil brush to smudge off the edges of the eyeshadow stick. And you have to be a little quick, otherwise, it can set into a completely um, matte and smudge proof finish. So I'm just being as quick as possible and blending out the edges here. Then I'm using the shade Navigator, which is this stunning deep navy blue sort of a color. So I'm applying that right on the center of my eyelids and where the green eyeshadow ends. And these eyeshadows are very, very creamy and buttery, so it's very easy for you to apply and blend on the eyes. Again, I'm using the same pencil brush to sort of blend out the edges as well as to merge the green um, and blue together. Then 
then i'm gonna take the same chocolate um, matte brown eyeshadow on a tapered blending brush and just trying to blend off the edges further on the crease as well this is just gonna make sure that the transition between the deeper eyeshadow and the crease um, color is well blended and well transitioned into each other Once I'm happy with that, I'm going to take the shade called Charcoal, which is a very deep black matte eyeshadow. Again, I'm going to taking that on a tapered blending brush and just going to apply that to the very outer V of my eye to create that smoky effect and making sure to um, blend the eyeshadows thoroughly again. K-Beauty don't have any primer so far, so I'm just using my Maybelline uh, Fit Me Matte and Poreless Primer to prime my face before I apply my foundation. Then I'm gonna use their orange color corrector to color correct my hyperpigmentation, acne spots, and my dark circles. This is an okay product from them. It's not that great or that pigmented. Um, it's quite sheer on the skin, and it has got this balmy gel sort of a texture, and it's fine. It's not that great uh, personally for me. I'm just using my beauty blender to blend out the orange color corrector before applying my foundation. For foundation, I'm using their uh, new hydrating uh, liquid foundation in the shade 180Y. This is a perfect match on me. So I'm just applying that foundation little by little starting from the center of my face and moving towards the perimeters of my face. This is a very, very dewy and very sheer uh, foundation. So if you have a drier skin type and if you like that natural and sheer coverage, I think you'll really, really like this. Or if you want to use it in a colder climate, you'll really like this. But yeah, so I'm just applying that foundation all over and then again using my LA Girl Concealer to conceal under my eyes because we have created a beautiful smoky eyes. So you want your under eyes to be concealed properly. Then I'm taking this contour stick. This is also a great, great product from them. This is in the shade Coco Focus, which is the deepest uh, shade to contour. So I'm working the contour stick on the back of my hand before applying it onto my face because it is very, very pigmented and it can go very strong on the face uh, if you use it directly. So I'm just uh, using a stippling brush to apply the uh, product onto the hollows of my cheeks, on the perimeters of my forehead and also to sculpt the sides of my nose. and as well as around my mouth to create that pouty effect. Now to set and bake, I'm using one of my most favorite products from K-Beauty. This is their loose setting powder in the shade Olive. I just cannot live without this powder. It is that amazing and so finely milled, so soft on the skin and I just love this stuff. So I'm just using that to bake my face as well as on the T-zone area to control any oil throughout the day. Then I'm using the K-Beauty 24-hour Kajal in the shade Spade, which is a deep uh, black Kajal. I think this is one of the initial products that I tried out from K-Beauty and I really, really liked it. And I really like it today as well because it is a very well pigmented and very long lasting smooth cold pencil. So I'm just applying that all over my lower lash line and lower waterline thickly. Again, I'm going to pick up the shade called Charcoal on an angled brush to set the kajal in place and to intensify the kajal further. Then I'm going to take the shade tan on a tapered blending brush and just going to smoke out and blend out the lower lash line further to create that smooth gradation on the lower lash line as well and just connecting it to the top um, smoky eye that we created. For liner, I'm using their liquid eyeliner in a black shade. 
this is also an okayish product for me because it's not completely matte it's sort of like a semi matte it has a bit of a shine to it it's not glossy as well it's not uh completely matte it's right in between so i'm just using that to slightly line my upper lash line not going to create a wing or anything just a simple liner once that is done i'm just going to brush off the excess loose powder away using a fluffy powder brush then i'm taking their mascara and just going to coat my top and bottom eyelashes this is a good everyday mascara i would say you can build it up to get a bit more volume from it but um yeah i like to use this on a everyday regular basis not for glam makeup looks but it's good it's not bad then i'm going to take the compact powder from k beauty which is also one of my favorite products from them this is in the shade 170y i love this compact powder it's a beautiful soft buttery texture and has a lot of coverage as well and it's got this very pretty soft matte finish on the skin so even if you have a dry skin type you will really like this powder because it's very soft and buttery on the skin and has a lot of coverage then i'm picking up a deeper shade from the same compact powder in the shade 190n to contour my face further so i'm just applying that to the hollows of my cheeks on the perimeters of my forehead jawline wherever i did the cream contouring basically i love this darker shade of powder to contour my face Then here comes another favorite product from them which is their powder blusher in the shade soft nude which is a beautiful universally flattering blusher color and pretty much pairs with any kind of makeup look that you create so i'm just applying that to the apples of my cheek to add a nice flush of color and it is very very pigmented and super long lasting so a little bit goes a long long way and such a beautiful color for indian complexions Then I'm going to highlight um the face using their highlighter uh, as well in the shade Honey Glaze which is a very beautiful golden shimmery highlighter. Uh you can apply this highlighter in a way that you want uh meaning you can apply a little bit to get a natural finish as well as you can build it up like I'm doing it here for that blingy effect. I'm also using the highlighter to the uh bridge of the nose, the tip of the nose, my cupid's bow, my chin as well as to highlight the inner corners of my eyes and my brow bone. Once that is done, I'm going to move on to the lips. I'm using their lip liner in the shade Fame, which is a muted deep chocolatey brown lip color. So it's very soft and nice and buttery on the lips so I'm just using that to slightly overdraw my lips and this color is great for dusky or deeper indian complexion so yeah For lipstick I'm using two of their lip crayons the first shade that I'm going to use is called chart buster which is this very beautiful um deep brown shade which looks stunning on deeper and duskier complexion so i'm just applying that all over the lips i really like the formula of these lip crayons as well they are very comfortable and dries down to a completely matte finish then i'm using the shade pat which is this peachy nude shade and just applying that only on the center of the lips to create that pouty effect on the lips and i think this combination went very well with the eye makeup that i created They don't have a setting spray either so I'm using my Maybelline Lasting Fix setting spray to lock down the entire makeup. And here is my final finished result using only K Beauty makeup products. I really like the outcome of this makeup look. 
it's sort of like a glam uh, contemporary indian makeup look with a pop of color on the eye so i absolutely loved creating this makeup look using only k beauty makeup products all the products that i use in this video will be listed in the description box so if you want to know any details please go ahead and check the description box but yeah this is it for today's video i really hope that you guys enjoyed watching it if you did make sure to give it a huge thumbs up comment and do not forget to subscribe to my channel for more such videos make sure to hit the bell icon to get notified each time i upload a new video on my channel take care of yourself stay home and stay safe and i shall see you guys soon in my next one bye